Okay, here we are in game one of Phoenix or Mantis Kitsune against Scorpion Ninja. We flip some gold. We're going to drop these on down. Remember, my box only makes three. I wait <coughs> patiently for my opponent to obnoxiously name Ring of Void and or Building Contracts. I didn't mean You can play your cards. Okay, how delightful. Uh, and it looks like we're going to go straight to a Forgotten Legacy here, discarding a Fruition. I thought about just grabbing the Kabune port, but, you know, this way I don't have to worry about discarding to hand size extra early. And that's a perfectly fine turn to Kabune plus Mystic. If I'm really lucky, I'll flip something like a Deep Harbor and just be on my way. Maybe this deck again. takes a lot of gold. I mean, I got a seven gold cost holding. Okay, well, we flipped three one for ones. That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, and I think we're just going to go ahead and keep them all. Um, except, except. So there's four. So we're just going to go double bookkeeper plus uh, temple here. Draw two on the turn. And the leather temple, I'm going to flush. Because I'm already going to have to discard hand size at some point. Go ahead. And we're doing one for ones now. Okay, and so we'll just drop on down. We get our dojo and kabune port, and we flush some more. Um, Sataka would be a great keep at five there, except she's got that six honor rack. Very pesky. That's, you got to be pretty disciplined about those flushes. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is pretty terrible. Yeah. So we're just going to go... No Geisha. Plus Forgotten Legacy. So, I mean, we're spending all of our gold, and it's like we're buying a free the two for two. The, yeah, the bookkeeper is up and I think, sort of salvages it. Um, and we have to decide what to do with our stuff in our dynasty here, which we'll do in just a second. I'm going to throw out... Probably a strike. Feels like the weakest card here. And decide what to do. Ninja Shapeshift is gone for sure. Terra's gone for sure. Do I like Ki Chi, I guess is the question. He's Force and Chi. I'm gonna keep him. Yes, he has both he has both a force and chi stat. Well analyzed, sir. Well he's such a dick. He's high force, he's high chi, he's got a range of He's a Lotus Era card, so I mean, he can't be that bad. He's That's out. Right. He's out, I just need more gold. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> Swan of Dojo, Samurai Cast Divide. Okay, so double Swan of Dojo is great, except it means we can't buy any personality, which is a little less than great, so I probably will not be going that route. Probably going to have, because, you know, I mean, we are an honor deck nominally. We do have to start getting the book claim on. Let's uh, trigger the Samurai Cast Divides. I will get a progressive and jam it on into play. Sure, sure. And then it's a drop on down. We're going to buy the guy with the boar and the Swan of Dojo. I guess I could activate Samurai Cast. You could stop me from playing progressive for some number of turns if you want to sort of do that -ness. How is that better than just naming progressive in play? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just giving you a chance. I know, I, don't I know you love to like annoy me with your stuff. So this guy gets a boar. He gets a, yep, a boar. There he is. And then I wait. I got to read my sensei. So, and then I bow to gain an extra point of honor. Uh Get I, some. I should mark my honor. I'm at zero. Okay. <clears throat> flip, flip. Got my fake card. There was an argument there to just, you know, using my box and not buying my guy. But I, I do. I want to start getting these proclaims of proclaiming. So we're going to drop straight down. I just need to decide to do the turn. Probably going to building contract for a geisha house. Is it? So I'm definitely building contracting for a geisha house first. We need some extra gold. <clears throat> As I decide if I'm getting an actual geisha house or I'm getting another house of floating lotus. So I'm going to spend three. Then that's three. And then I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So the house is so when you get one, each house will then make three, and then sort of get bigger as you buy more. So it's just a question of how you go, bikes. Oh no, I need two more. Yeah, I need two more gauge houses. So this doesn't work yet. Man, I thought that car was better than it is. Hmm. So I think I'm definitely just getting Geisha House. Awesome. Geisha House, two dudes in another holding. Yeah, that sounds right. So the house. <clears throat> and that leaves you with two, four, six, ten. Three, four, five. Yep, I'm pretty sure I have enough. So, dude, dude, gold, flush, Kamoro, and pass on down. Feeling the pressure now. Okay, yeah, I got four fours on the table. Hey, school of wizardry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, School of Wizardry is really good in that it lets me like buy any guy in my deck, but not buying any guys is kind of a <laughs> exciting proposition here. The good news is he's only got four force, so I can just invest in lots of School of Wizardries and then have more gold than I really know what to do with. I don't think that's what I want to do. Okay, so let's draw a fate card from my stronghold. That always makes me feel happy. <clears throat> I pass a bunch. So I don't want to discard, so we'll go ahead and long-term fruition out. The Ring of Fire. And there's no way Jesse saw that coming. I don't care what he tells you. <laughs> you never the do the Ring of Fire cup. That's right. It's always unexpected. I will bow my School of Wizardry to attach a spell because... I have a Genja and a spell here. Okay. And if you got nothing else, I'm going to just drop on down. It looks. I guess I'll take the favor with my melee two. You got two force guys. You could just name them, eats up the box. And no, I keep him unbowed because he's better as a defender than as a favor monkey. <laughs> Buy a school of wizardry and a mystic dojo. Flush my holdings. And, you know, hope to see some guys. Pretty hard to not to, actually, at this point. I know that feel, man. These should be on two. So, we have 4-4s. Four so if we were a better deck, a real deck, we'd be attacking this dragon. <laughs> He'd really be coming in. But we are not any of those things. And there's no use crying over spilled milk. And I am, like, you know... 25% of the way there. That's right. This is a rocky type game. I mean, we're just dropping straight down. I don't even have any clever commentary to give about like what we're doing or why. Um, I think I could buy everything, though. Here is seven gold for this guy. Three, six, seven, eight for this guy. And for this guy, and I can even buy the bookkeeper. Okay, so now I've got all the force. All the Your force, Temple of Destiny is sort of violating our great encroachment space on my screen here. I'll fix that. They sort of hop around a little bit. And go ahead. We got a gentleman's agreement, sir. You violate it. You dare. <laughs> it's not my fault, man. It's not my fault. Okay, well, let's flip some holdings. I'm flipping them apparently in some bizarre fashion because it's free man. What do you want? Okay. So this is great. So I bought the School of Wizardry, and then I can use it to buy, oh, non-human. This four-guy cost guy over there, he's totally a human. This is really... This is working out. Okay, well, let's, uh, you know, let's draw a fake card. I can't feel too bad. I got that going on for me. Oh, but I can tell you a thing or two about playing goofy cards that aren't coming together for you. Let me tell that's you. Right. I, that's right. No, that's, that's retarded. Why would I... Why would I try to ambush this guy seeking the way? That's just, that's just bad form. You could navel... You could shut down the seeking the way. You could shut down the seeking the way and try to destroy it. So, Kamara destroys attachments. So, like, I do have that as, like, a real play. I don't know if it's a real play. It is a play. 
That's right. It qualifies as legal. Okay. That's right. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's try to go for. It. We'll use our shadow to state here and name seeking the way. Mm. Pass. Ambush to Gendra. Okay, so here we are. Yep, oh, you're crossing the thing. Back up. Back okay. up. So everybody sees sort of like the hilarity of what happens when you cross the thing. That's why we can't cross okay. the stairs, man. Yeah. I said, don't cause it. So, um, here we are. You're ambushing me. So I can, I can't seek either way. You named it. What am I going to do? So do I could progressive. Part of me really wants to just activate the ring of fire. I feel like he's, he's wandered into this play. And it's just, it's too tempting not to. We do have this here. This sort of combination of cards, but. You know, if you can properly use the Ring of Fire, go for it. So I'm going to Ring of Fire your guy. I bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, I saw it coming. <laughs> okay. So... We can sort of try to go for the... We can try to get his guy here. Um, just like this. We can play this card to, like... Not so. If, if there's zero force at the battle, do we? Does what happen with the Ring of Fire? I guess it's a tie, so you didn't lose. Sounds right. So what we have to do is play a spinning the web. Uh oh. Uh oh. I give you guys minus, okay. minus one. Then I bow my guys so that each time an additional ninja action targets you, you get minus one minus one. Well. This was fun, but now we have to get out of it. We have to. We have to. And did you sensei it? No, that's only from a challenger. Okay. Well, we were we were having some fun. We were trying to get out of this as painlessly as possible, but we cannot. So we're gonna go Wrath of Osana Wo for one, with an unholy strike. Well, all my that's, surges. Uh, so we died. The most the most expensive Sarucci technique in the history of Elf Oh, yeah, pass. Pass! And, you know, my guy goes home and things happen. You have a minus one, minus one poison token, sir. That is oh, it's a token? Out. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it's a token. Sorry, man. I don't, I don't mean to not appreciate what's happening over there. So, School of Wizardry on this expendable Shugenja will claim to 11. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm sorry. How long does this spinning the web last? It says, you may target a buyer unbound ninja to give the person an additional minus one, minus one after each time your ninja action resolves a target at him. How long does sure. this effect last for? I assume till the end of the turn. So I will unexplained illness to kill him. Ah! Oh, baby. Did you bow your guy for that? Oh, yeah. I bowed yeah. my guy. Why do you need to bow your guy? It's just oh, bowing oh, target I thought I said, No, my bad. So I, I kill your guy without explaining the illness. All right. Can I now go up down and buy my crappy Shigenjas? Yes. Okay. But listen, now I got you. I <laughs> wombo comboed you out. You did it. You got me good. No, I'm not denying. You I'm play just, two fake cards. I play two fake cards. Like this is I'm trying, This is L five R. I'm trying to play it cool. You know, I'm trying to not make it seem like I'm like in complete despair over here. On the plus side, I got myself a pretty little fox. What does it say, dude? Oh. What does the fox then, say? That's <laughs> right. Horse goes nay. Okay. Cat goes meow. Fish goes blub. What does the fox say? So I found out about that song because of it was like on an SNL parody or something. Mm -hmm. And then I, I heard the actual song. I'm like, there's no, why would you parody this? It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's pretty like, much, yeah, it's already. <laughs> it's, it's already, already parody. self compared parody. Like, why are you doing it? I, there are other actual popular music songs you could make fun of, like anything done by Taylor Swift ever in the history of existence. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so I have. Do I have a problem with Crushing Forest? 
He has seven. I two, really hope. five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine fours. So we are going to use our stronghold Back. and name uh, Progressive. Good choice. Bullets, man. My only weakness. <laughs> and then all my guys will take a promise. I mean, I'm all in here. I got an expendable guy, a resilient guy, and a boar. So, I mean, clearly, I am defending. I maybe should have named the boar. Um, I don't think he has. Does he have an actual name, by the way? I don't know if I don't yeah, think he does. Rumba's boar. No, no, because the card just makes a token. I don't think there's an actual name you can make. You're such a dick. We ate a, yeah. All right, all right, nice, all right. nice try, though. Ha! My Kitsune spirit to get around your stronghold. Uh, get oh, some. Get some. Okay, so I'm here. You're there. You get first action. I will use the boar's melee to attack on Shishiro Sato. You sure you don't want to hit a Saigyo? I'm not sure, actually, but I... <laughs> <laughs> I've played Sado in decks before, so I'm assuming he's, you know. <laughs> I just assume he's the spy. Him. The board does not approve of spies. He's trying to eat in peace. Okay, so we have to decide <laughs> what's more threatening a Shugenja or a Fox <laughs> or a three force poor. So we've got this we've got this range three on Kinji we're gonna use like hundred percent for sure. The question is just if we shoot the boar because he's three fours, or if we shoot the shugenja because he's a shugenja. I think we shoot the shugenja because you know it's a card. He plays shugenja cards, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna shoot the shugenja. I'm gonna discard this. Do not delay because it's a shitty duel, and I don't actually want to play it. You you discarded a card. I drew a card. It's all coming up, Millhouse, baby. <laughs> That's right. So your action. Okay, well, I just realized a error in my deck construction that is pretty pretty dramatic. I was gonna play this show me your stance, except it has to target human personalities, and you know none of my guys are humans. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> all the characters <laughs> they are not humans. So uh, that's a read your cards moment, if ever there was. This is fun. But I'm not I'm out fun. of it. That's great. I'm not out of it. I've got an unholy strike. For a Shishiro Saigyo. Okay, dead. Now, I, on the other hand, am going to trigger Saigyo's ability. I'm going to make your boar challenge me. And then, since I am too chi and you are too chi, I strike. Okay, and you gain some force. And then I will trigger my sensei and give you minus one, minus one. Haha! -ha. Well, my response is a sort of uh, ridiculous sound. <laughs> I kill your guy. I make a farting noise. <laughs> your action. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look over everything I got going on over here. I will pass. Uh, there's no way that we can take his province, but I can kill his two guys. I already am, so I. Oh, but you only kill one because of resilience, sir. Ooh la la. I gained two honor. And then we'll drop on down. First things first is by the Geisha House, which will turn on my other one. So my terrible cards now sort of justify their existence, but not really. Here's eight gold for this one. Three, six, seven gold for this one. And three gold for this one. And drop down. Okay, here's some 10 gold cost guy with one chi. But still, 10 gold. It's exciting. It must be good. And an 11 gold. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on my way now. Home sweet home, man. So let's take the favor. I pass. Let's draw a fate card. Let's do the Goblin Polka. That's right. I pass. Mm. To keep for a send -dome effect or to cycle out ridiculously. I'm going to cycle it. I'm going to get rid of this. Am I? No, I don't think I am. I think I'm going to keep it. He's clearly going to attack me. I do have a... 
karmic action here. Oh, that only makes one. Eh, eh. My goal is so funny. Okay, so one guy, four, eight, twelve. I got my progressive in play, so it's only four, so we should be good here. I'm going to karmic my long-term fruition. Okay. It's all perfectly fine cards. And I'm dropping on down, so buy this guy here. And then bow for a total of 4 to 16. And this is my bear. Makes a fear 4. Put too many fates discard. Well, are you but bear? For 10 gold, you get a guy that can't even attack. This is like the biggest Robins card ever. I assume it was designed that way because of some sort of interaction with the School of Wizardries. But yeah, it's it's pretty... You it's like 10, 10 gold for 5 force and a fear 4, like way too good as a mean of military. There's guy. my Moshi girl that only gets bigger with other Moshi, which is kind of Robinsy as well. I mean, it can't just be like Shugenjo or personality. It has to be Moshi specifically. She may or may not be the only Moshi in the deck. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I got to proclaim this guy. <laughs> so we pretend that I proclaimed in such a way that I get Sadako's proclaim first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get that extra point of honor. It's going to matter, man. That was actually a really great turn. I mean, I gotta, look at all these extra guys I got on the board here. You got, you've got you got eight cards in your hand, which is too many, I might add. You need to discard one. Uh, okay, I will discard one. Uno momento, por favor. If you're going to win this game, it's really embarrassing for me. That's okay. Uh, how about... Jeez, please. They're all so questionably playable. <laughs> That's so awesome, is what you want to say? There is a new factors... So that if I ever want to cycle a card, that'll be the card I cycle. That's right. Okay. I pass open. Really? A straight pass? So if I straight pass, that means he doesn't get to utilize his stronghold at all. Oh, that's right. I have a stronghold. So you're taking back your straight pass? I'm taking back my straight pass. We'll just name Progressive again. That felt like a good name oh. last time. So here's a Seeking the Way on, I don't know, here's a Shugenja that moves things home or something. Are you a Shugenja? No, no of course you're not a Shugenja. That's a fox. Uh, I mean, fox you Come on. I'll put it on this guy. Home okay. battle, move your target, spare personality home. Not that exciting. I pass. <sighs> okay. I do the thing that I've thought about trying to do in my Phoenix Fodder decks, which is play selfless politics to blow up a Shugenja. How about this 10 gold cost one? This is a reader. I... <laughs> If your Shishiro Kichi assigns to attack, it is dishonored, and I gain two. Why did you blow your guy up, though? Because selfless politics says to, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I'm thinking of a different card. I don't know, for fun? <laughs> like, I think very lowly of this big I really want to destroy it. <laughs> okay, so you target my guy the next time I assign, I gain two. I get this guy. I, you know what? Yeah. I, can, I can live with that. I pass. I pass as well. Everybody attacks. Which one was dishonored? A uh, Kichi. I gained two honor. Kichi. <clears throat> All of my unbowed personalities defend. Okay. You got first. Okie dokie. So I think we have to. We're gonna maybe we can kill something. We can seek something. He's gonna shoot. God, for a turtle shell, it'd just be so good. So we're gonna have to start with I think seeking the way on a Kichi, and then he can bow, then discard a card to the other Kichi. Yep, yeah, our our uh, of course our our sequencing is once again mottled ever so slightly because of show me your stance requiring humans. Okay, we will use Moshe Akiko to make a range to attack against Shishiro Longji. Dead. 
Oh. It was a very interesting play from him. We're going to Kichi and discard. How about I think knife in the darkness to shoot guy with spell. We are going to show me your stance, Akiko, to dishonored Kichi. He's a dueling deck, but I have three PH to his zero, so I like my focus pool strength powers here. So I go home bowed. And extra dishonored. And super extra dishonored. Dishonored times two. Times two. And I gain two points of honor. And that's fine, so that just happens. We don't need to fuss around with that. Um, I don't want to do this next. We can play this one to neutralize the bear. So this is his last onboard battle action. There's also value to trying to deal with the Ikako because she is a Shugenja and a human. He could have another show me your stance. He could also have like a Wrath of Asano War or something, which would be a lot worse than just a Fear Four that I think we can totally beat. Hmm. Yeah, I think what we want to do is. Hmm. A lame action, though. You will do as opposed to all of my super awesome actions. Oh yeah, no, no, everything's everything's lame. I get point, like point taken, man. We're gonna use Psycho's duel on Bear and trigger the Sensei just to strike. I am, of course, only two chi because whatever, man. It's not like I paid ten gold to get that stupid thing. You bought a single holding for it. <sighs> I will fear the guy who has not yet. Do I hit the guy who hasn't used his ability or the guy who is four force? That's actually, it's not an interesting debate at all. I target the one who hasn't used his ability yet. Um, I don't want to get blown up by like a courage action or something. I'm going to. Iron Sanction Strike to kill Bear. Why does my bear have green eyes, by the way? That's kind of freaking me out now that it's I look like at it. Oh. It looks kind of like an evil bear, to be honest. It's got to be a friendly bear. It was summoned by... Okay, you're right. It's like a Paddington bear. You know? I was going to I was gonna make like a... It's a, it's, a, it's a bear summoned through mystical energy. It's got to be a nice bear, but I don't think that's how it works at all. <laughs> Nothing bad has ever happened with mystical energy. <laughs> mystical animals always turn out so swell. I bring the cuddles. Okay, um, we are four force to his seven, so we got to take an action. Hmm. We got another. Show me your stance. We're gonna put it at the uh, Kichi there because he's not a duelist, so I don't have to. I even though I'm up by three, I still worry. So keep it sure, simple. Sure, sure. So. This is just an easy strike off again. We go home and dishonored. Whoops, that's the wrong sort of flip. So now it's four to four, nail biter. <laughs> um, I will strike as the earth. Your ikaku uh -oh. there for my sure. Superpowers. I will blow up my Ikako for a ranged 4 attack to redirecting rage. Targeting your 4 4 Saigyu. Yep. Attrition effects! Come to me now! Uh. I will. Hmm. 
knife in the dark, both of us home. Oh man. Okay, I'll pass. Okay. So that was terrible. That was weird. Look at all the Nine, actions we've played. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's 20 gold for two ninja shapeshifters. And this one needs eight. So that's four, eight, and three. I mean, assume that I like split the gold up in such a way that a gold from each of the bookkeepers pays for this Solana Dojo. Okay. So I can give those little tick ups. And go ahead. The boar and expendable guy and the school. Man, too much gold or something here. Okay, let's draw a fake card. It's a good fate card. I'm pleased to have drawn it. I will discard the favor and remove my new factors from the game to draw a card. Uh, value. Value town, baby. I'm taking a trip. <laughs> Hear pass. that horn a-blowing. Pass, pass, pass. I should name something. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I know, like, people can criticize me for not naming, like, things on the box here and, like, building contracts and stuff, but I don't care. <laughs> my my adult response is to not care. And, yeah, I think it's time to drop on down. I'm going to read all my guys, make sure none of them are destined. They are not. <laughs> I was really hoping. I will we'll buy this open. guy and make a boar and get my gain to 27. Does it matter which guy I buy? Two chi versus. So I should buy the two chi guy instead of the three chi guy. Come back, my boar. You were awesome. You stood there and defended. <laughs> As a good boar does. And then buy this guy. And then here's double trading ground to buy School of Wizardry. I'm a combo deck. Combo, combo. And four. And draw a card. And the table is yours. All right. Well, here's four holdings that that happened. So, I know the feeling. Uh, one, one, two, three. Red Fang hunger down on a Kichi here. So we can five force. That's and pretty impressive. Lose two honor. Oh. Beg pardon. I do have a yeah. seeking the way. We will put it on Shugenja, who is not expendable. So now our shapeshifter will copy the 5 force Akichi. Yep. And so will the other one. Roger Dodger. And then we will name. I'm pretty happy with Progressive, to be honest. Like, Seeking the Way is a 2 honor bump. Maybe that's better. Yeah, we'll go with Seeking the Way just because it's honor. Okay. And then everybody goes. Okay, well, our plan of just throw our guys in front has been okay, but not great. I think we might have to reconsider. So I have to see if I can deal with all three five force units, I can save my province. Maybe. On the other hand, not defending gives me what? Gives me more chumpy fodder for next turn? Meh. So I think we go defend, defend, trigger, shot... And then sort of see how the action proceeds from there. Yep, so these two guys defend. <clears throat> okay, so you've got first. All right, Boarman shoots Longji. Dead. Oops. Longji, or do I kill Saigyo because it represents more force, actually? I think I'm supposed to kill Saigyo here as much as, like, killing Longji. Yeah, no, I kill Saigyo. Okay. So was Wait, I take it back. 
Just why kill an eight force cost guy when you can kill a three gold cost guy? That's I mean, right. that's just math. <laughs> We're gonna go range three against the Shugenja. Ah. Okay. Well, I will interrupt with a good death to give my boar resilient and plus two force and gain me two honor, and then I will die and okay. draw a card. And then you got an action. I am going to activate the Ring of Fire targeting a ninja shapeshifter. The Rubbins. <laughs> they're coming and they're coming strong. Red Fang's hunger <laughs> on four. Everybody loves it when you can hit you with... Uh-oh. My Tucci guy may not be long for this world. I will... Favor the ninja shapeshifter I did not target with the Ring of Fire. Check. Uh, spinning the web to kill Boar. Boar is duly dead. <sighs> Activate progressive, discarding the Ring of Air for four. And a fearless devotion for one to target five force Kichi. All he goes. I'll play a planned departure with homebound guy to give. How about the long G plus two force? I uh, pass. Me too. Chip chip to dies. Uh, you killed the guy, so good for you. And then I buy all my stuff here. Using only bookkeepers. I draw not one but two We're just cards. So loaded. We're just so loaded. So much gold. It's so little sense. And I used the favor, right? Yep. So flip. Flip. Oh, I get an elephant. I haven't had one of those yet. And another fox. And another fox. Okay, so I take the favor. Draw a fate card. Mm, it's not a bad fate card. It's like so close to being the fate card I need it to be. It's the fate card I deserve. <laughs> Got it. I passed. I'm dropping on down. Buy guy with elephant. Bow this dude to gain. Total of 4 to 33. Misty Dojo up this guy. And I don't know. Trading ground for the deep harbor. That is not a combo. Is a nonbo. As they say. And let me get some. I get an elephant and a fox. Get, what is this? Ah! Stupid computer. Elephant makes a fear effect, and Fox just hangs out. <laughs> and turns out does actual nothing. <coughs> Where did he go? Where did my Fox token go? I seem to have long. Oh, it's in play. It's I have to make play. a copy. That's why I have I have two foxes. Even embarrassing like having fox riches. <laughs> I'm going to copy five force with my shapeshifter. Yeah, man, I wish I had cool, awesome cards like that. I am going to pass a lot. I'm going to read my elephant as I pass, though. If you're three or four, if it's a cavalry card. I will Got box it. to name Seeking the Way. I will pass. I will have... Well, I will remove a province as I am cheating, so okay. let's not do that. To name Seeking the Way. I have all my guys attack a province. So, I mean, I think I can pretty peaceably defend here with all my guys um, and just sort of save the province. And then the hope is... I'm actually not sure what the next step of this equation is. Uh, it would be nice if I could take away here. Two Fire Force guys... Well, what's the worst that can happen? He kills all my guys, takes the province, and I lose the game. 
Yeah, okay. Everybody defends. <laughs> he snap, snap, everybody defends. I got the worst guy. I get everything I get. Uh, snap defend. Yep. Okay. So Paul snap defends. I will pass. You, know, you got first action. I'm going to use the elephant to fear three Shishiro Kichi. Do the fear. I have a sort of a decision point here about if I want to try to get the elephant. I actually already passed that decision point. I could have played this, but I don't want to anyway. We're going to. Red Fang's Hunger the Elephant. Imperial favor on Kichi with Red Fang's hunger. Where you go? Uh. So which one of these awesome cards do we play? I think this one's better to lead with. Let's spin the web to kill elephant. Dead. Well. That leaves me with zero, 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 two force. Still in it. <laughs> Not dead yet. Um, blow up my zero force non-human Shugenja to redirecting rage Shishiro Longji. I pass. Well, I could just ring a fire, kill all my guys just to kill his one guy. <laughs> or save all my guys and try to save the province this way. I think we'll try to save it. I will play a block supply lines. I go home. So that's pretty bad, but we didn't get any honor off of it, so I'm going to try to consider it to be not so terrible. Seven, four, and three. Yeah, there we go. Ten gold cost guy. This must be a good turn. And then we all left. Let's take the favor. <laughs> we all left. Draw a fate card. I am almost out of deck. That's a little disconcerting. Uh dropping down go to thirty seven. And where are you, bear thing? Come out, Paddington, come out. <laughs> Draw my end of turn fate card. Okay, I've got some cards. Okay, get these bowed bear people off the table. Boom. Well, once again, I've cheated and given myself four provinces. I just really want to have four provinces. I feel like my game state would be much improved if I just had an extra province. <laughs> I can see that. So the classic: you're losing the game. What do you do? Let's cheat. Always, always, <laughs> always worth a gamble. Okay. So there's our little combo engine in province. Too late to matter. I boxed a name seeking the way. Uh, I'm passing through the phase. Tero, uh, how about the bear? Sure. Let's have Shapeshifter copy Tero and hit the bear again. Ooh, sneaky. I thought he was going to rub it in and target his Shapeshifter, have him target my 5 Force bear because he doesn't get the obnoxious trait, so he'd just be a straight 5 Force. Nope, nope. Which there's a there's a combo deck there. Play your own 
Kitsune Baikos, buy out your bears, then buy out your shapeshifters, then just have your shapeshifters copy your bears. It's so perfect. And then everybody attacks the middle province. All my guys defend. Okay, you go first. Play up your intent. On any one of my guys. So he's got four honor in hand. I do. Oh, yeah, I mean, we haven't respected him having honor in his hand the entire game. I didn't see any reason to start now. But, um... It's pretty much how I thought it was going to go. Like, I couldn't generate any force, and uh, we lost the game. But there was some stuff, like, I was actually quite impressed, and this is sort of what I'm talking about with these decks, that, like, these cheapo ninjas, like the the Sadao, and specifically the way Saigo. that Saigo works with just, like, strike off the box and, like, give him give you minus one force, and then I get plus three, like, we have to get the three force yeah. swing and a minus one G swing. Like, I was impressed with these guys. And so I, I could definitely see, like, the sensei was a little bit better than I thought it was going to be, just that minus one, minus one action. So I could see, like, cutting everything over five gold and, like, filling this deck out with a bunch of cheapy stuff, going wide with some followers, and then having, like, the sensei as just a solid, like, yeah, extra so piece with Strike of the Earth and uh, Spinning the Web and uh, Wounded in Battle. I agree. I definitely think that the sensei doesn't have to be this, like, I'm going to eventually kill all your guys kind of sensei. I felt like that interaction you talked about specifically with Saikyo, where it's just like, so now this Saikyo action is, I gain plus two force and you get a minus one, minus one token. That's a really solid action, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the way it can combo with Sadows and Strike from the Earth and Spinning the Webs, like, that's all really good. So, I was equally impressed. And with Swana Dojos and the way you can control gold schemes now around three gold cost strongholds, it might actually be viable if you can keep your cost low enough. Yeah, absolutely. And so I'd have to go back. I'd have to go back to the pool a little bit and see what my options are for cheapy ninjas. But to be honest, like I say, cheapy ninjas, but the ninjas thing is a total red herring. Like this, um, like this Aurora Sensei cares about ninjas, but like really, we're going to be triggering it off of Saiki most of the time. And right. maybe I can find like one or two other good ninjas to play. Um, it's, but I think for the most part, like I don't need to be all in on that. I think just like a couple of good guys, like some good cheapy guys, and then um, just some other good cheap standby type stuff, like Mukin type yep. guys to fill the deck out would be really solid. Yeah, just stuff instead of Longji over there, who just just sort like, of like Longji was just, like Longji was just awful. Kichi was yeah. fine. Like I'd keep Kichi and maybe. Um, <laughs> On my end, I don't have a lot. I mean, I, I was a really slow honor deck, but I did draw some cards. I do think that Mantis Honor, there might be a complexion of it that works, but this this didn't feel very strong at all. It felt really slow, and nothing I was doing felt to be very powerful. Some of that's because I'm, I'm some of my stuff's being shut down by your box. I will say that I'd like the, the deck's ability to just be like, well, I'm going to buy a bunch more guys, and every time I buy one guy, it's two guys. So I do feel like this deck's really good at sort of generating presence and having a bunch of guys there to just take your actions, and that's something that a lot of honor decks lose out on, right? A lot of honor decks sort of struggle to have enough resources to keep throwing to defend their provinces. They sort of lose a guy to a naval ranged attack and then lose another guy to an unholy strike, and before you know it, they're out of guys. So... There's a, a part of this deck that I was attracted to, but the fate needs a lot of tuning. For sure. Um, part of the problem here, though, is just that like, there's not a lot of payoff. Like yeah. you can you play all these these little Pokemon guys, and like the fox, you know, like doesn't actually do anything. It's just presence. Just sits there. Yeah, like, it's a lot of just sits there stuff. Yeah, like the bear's got a fear effect, but really like just sits there. Like I mean, and you're right. Like buying one guy, like. We even in our reviews we talked about like the the ninja guy that I passed up who like when he comes out he makes another ninja the Brotherhood of Nod guy, yeah. And uh, we talked about the the spider daimyo guy a couple times that makes guys like making yep. a guy is not nothing. It's just that you gotta you gotta convince me that you're doing something with it. Right, and if all the, the the one thing that these guys really need for in their design is like if the fox is two force, if the guys who made the guys are two force, then you could maybe sell me on it because they have some amount of residual force where it'd be like take some actions and then sort of try to win against one or two like lone remaining units. Uh, but the fact that your force is just so completely depressed makes it really hard. You just you're just not you're always way behind on force, um, and you're 
way behind on quantity of action and quality of action. And so, like, your only saving grace is that you got the box to keep refilling your hand with actions over and over. But it, it, right now, I just don't think it's enough. Um, and I'll, I'll look back into the card pool. Maybe there's nothing there's nothing that interacts with the non-human traits. So, yeah, I, I think I'm just – I'm I'm exploring a theme at the end of its design cycle, and maybe it's just done. Maybe we're just not supposed to be looking at Kitsune anymore. Kind of like how you're not supposed to look at Spider Honor anymore. Like we're just we're just moving past those now. Maybe so. And I guess my last thought for this whole is sort of like a, a general thought about this project for me moving forward is just like my first instinct is always going to be low, like low to the ground military. Yep. When I build one of these decks, and like. I built this sort of silliness because I wanted to do something that wasn't low to the ground military, but then like my takeaway from playing it was like, man, this deck would be a really okay low to the ground military deck. Yep, there's a reason you stay away from 7, 8, 10 gold cost guys. Alright guys, uh, let us know what you think um, about, I guess, this little project. We'll try to start cranking out more vids. Uh, we're aware that things have sort of been slow on our ends. Life gets in the way. I've got a lot to talk about when I finally get around to sitting down and typing things out and posting things up, which I hope to be today and tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, things you know, things around. happen in life. Things happen in life. But, uh, you know, stay tuned. Keep popping in. You know, get us on your RSS feed. Or we try to <laughs> post up on our Facebook thing whenever we, we make an update on our Twitter. So follow us on Twitter and Facebook. That way you'll know when we're Getting uploading. a lot of YouTube comments. That's really cool. That's really exciting. Yeah, subscribe to us on YouTube. Like, that's that's one of the best ways to know when we're posting new stuff. You subscribe to us on YouTube. Then you'll just get, like, a little alert whenever we throw something up. And a lot of times I'll throw stuff up on YouTube uh, before I put it on the site. Just because, like, I'll, up, I'll upload it on YouTube, go to bed, and then the next day uh, post it on the actual site. So you sort of get, like... A little bit of a sneak peek that way of what's coming up next. So, you know, follow us on social media. Check out our stuff. Let us know what you think. Uh, which senseis do you want us to do next? I might run this sensei back just because, you know, this deck was so bleh. And I think yeah, uh, really there might be some, some improvement if a sensei speaks to you. I'm not running this back. I'm moving on to something else. Maybe I'll try For sure. some I think, other. I think we'll do like a first spirit. sweep of everything and then maybe do like a podcast about like where is, is there any sauce in the tier two senseis? Then we'll go back with a second sweep and like see about improvements. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable way to go about it. I agree. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for listening. This has most certainly been enough talk. I'm Jesse, and that is Paul, and we will catch you next time.